What's going on, people? We are Tottenham TV here, back here for the fan show post Southampton in St. Mary. We have won 5 2 away at Southampton. What a win, Simeon. Unbelievable Emphatic win. Um, I, can't, but I can't quite believe what I've just seen in that second half. After seeing um, how poor we were in the first half, uh, you got to give it to the team. We really turned up in the second half. We showed what we're all about. It's been an unbelievable weekend for Tottenham. And we, just, we didn't only just beat Southampton, we smashed them with absolute world class play from Son and Kane. You've got to say, that's one of some of the best duo performances you've ever likely to see in the Premier League. Definitely, definitely. Let's not get it right. I think it's I think it's papering over the cracks here because if we didn't have Song and Kane in that game, we'd have lost the game. It was like it reminded oh, me of the yeah. Bayern Munich game. Yeah, it but the, fact, the, the factor Bayern of the matter game. is we do have Harry Kane and we do have Hume Min Son and they're two of our best players. Yeah, but if I you take if you take best. two of the best players out of any team, they're gonna it's struggle. Like saying if you'd have Mane and Salah, they're yeah, but struggling. I, 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 like, I'm trying to they have Mane and Salah. I, I understand what you're trying to say, but we're clutching at straws when we're saying that because the thing is, though, it's always about a squad. You know, we've got about four games this se uh, this this week. Okay, so we're going to have to fit our squad around this at the moment. Um, you know, we're going to have to fit players. You know, to, you know, trying to you know, mix and match and trying to get a fit of what players can get into. You know, that uh, fit together. Um, the midfield at the moment, I don't think Koberg and Winks work together really well. What did you make of the four assists uh, Harry Kane put on the plate for Human Son today? Oh, um, what, a lot, you know, because yeah, a lot of people talk about Harry Kane, talking about, uh, you know, people like to deride him, saying he's only a penalty box player, he's only a finisher, he doesn't have much else to his game. But would, how how did he prove the critics wrong today? Oh, for sure he proved them wrong. I mean, last year what he, he had like two assists last year, right? And in this game he doubled it, and all of them to Sunny like. I don't think that's ever happened before, but all credit to Harry with the way he played today. Yeah, he Before was actually unbelievable, goal. wasn't he? Mm. And how, yeah, how important do you think? How exciting is it when you got Kane and Son on fire like they were today, and you're got the prospect of adding Gareth Bale to that attack? What do you think we can achieve that in this season with that? Honestly, like with the way that they play today, and then you go and add Gareth. I mean, what a weekend to be a Spurs fan, you know? <laughs> Unbelievable. Add Bell, add Regulon, a 5 2 performance, brilliant. Like, I'm really looking forward to seeing Bell play whenever he's back from his injury after the international break. I mean, we have the potential for one of the best attacks in England this year. But would you, would you, do you uh, have a reaction to the potential news of Delhi Ali could be leaving? It looks like he could be on his way to PSG. Yeah, I um, I saw that at halftime. That that shocked me. But it's not like he's just so streaky as a player. I feel like, and with the way our team's starting to gel together now, with the way Jose is wanting to play a little bit more now, I feel like he just was the odd man out. And it would be a shame to see him go. Because I still think he has potential to be a good player for us. Watch the first half, I nearly like smashed the laptop because like that like I was saying just please stop off Eric. Eric needs to go because like he's been making so many mistakes from the first game and now the the second game. But I mean like I didn't expect this performance in the in the in the in the in the second half. I could not expect like like. Like Ronaldo's legend, man. Like Sonaldo's legend. <laughs> I'm so happy to see him so called for. Whatever he did at, at halftime worked. Um, I, I can't, I can't help but feel as well that the, the two signings that we've just made in in Bow and Maguire are not. It's such a confidence boost to this team. It's been like, a good week for Tottenham, hasn't it? Yeah, hey, 100, 100. When when we were first linked up with Bow, I, I personally didn't believe it. I thought. He, I mean, he, he's moved to China, got blocked a year ago. Yeah. Like, it's, it's crazy to think that he's he's moved to China, got blocked by Real Madrid, and yet he's just come back to Tottenham with Real Madrid paying half of his wage. Like, <laughs> it's it's, it's, cra it's crazy to think. Um, also, as well, Son, a hundred percent. What mate. a performance we today, mate. If, and Harry if he, and Harry Kane as well. It was nice to see Harry Kane kind of playing that offset centre attack in mid role, where he was just feeding balls through to Son, and Son just. Capitalizing and, and scoring the goals, and I'm saying now, if we do, if we do not win silverware this season, big teams like Real Madrid, they're going to come in for Son, 100. percent They're going to be chomping at the bit to try and sign him, 150 mil plus, guaranteed. I mean, uh, in terms of what we can achieve, I'd expect an F FA Cup um, with the squad depth that we got. You know, um, Regulon 
however you pronounce it, um, you know. Regulon. Reg, reg, <laughs> I, I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even care. I just care about his class. I care about his talent. Um, but yeah, with, with, with the squad depth that we've got right now, I, I, I expect an FA Cup and top five, fifth or fourth, possibly third. It, I don't know. It, it all depends on what Gal on what Bale brings to the team, because if he's if he's coming back on form and he's putting in that work and he's linking up well with Son and Kane. Then we're gonna, it's gonna be gold's galore like it was today. I want to get your opinion on this Deli Alley because you've heard all the rumors, yeah. I'm guessing. Uh, Mourinho's kind of hinted that he could be out the door. Um, what are your thoughts on the situation? Listen, I, I've never wanted him to, to, to go. Um, I think he's an extremely good player, but I think that, um, you know, there's been a season or two where. He hasn't really performed the best he could. We all we all know that, um, but I just think that we need to make a decision now whether he still fits in the team with the new players and everything, or whether you know Daniel wants to cash in um, and maybe reinvest that somewhere else. Uh, or I hope see it's not Jesse Lingard. A... Oh God! If that happens, <laughs> I'm jumping out the door now. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, I, I think, um, like I said, I believe in giving players chances. Like, I, I know he's had a few last season, but I want to see what he's made of, you know. I want to see him come back in the team and, and show us what he can do. I don't want to just go, well, the easiest thing to do is always get rid of a player. So, yeah, we'll see. But, you know, I can see both sides of the fence, as it were. Uh, you know, some fans saying why he should go and some fans like me saying why he shouldn't go. Um, you know, let, let's see what happens, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's just a bit of a shame that he hasn't sort of grasped the form that he had a couple of seasons ago. We'll have to that? see. I'm just son is the only word I can say at the moment. Um, but it's just a game, game of two halves, really, wasn't it? Um, the first half, we were just sort of like... I was really annoyed the first half because I seemed to think they were just passing it around and we were giving them way too much time on the ball. I just kept thinking to myself, you know, they've got the ball and they're just literally walking it around and thinking, where should I pass? Where should I pass? And we're literally just like letting them decide where to go. But then the second half, obviously, we came out and there's a lot more tactic a lot more pressing, I think. And I think I think we hurt teams when we press more. I think when we when we put pressure on teams to have to pass that ball, we, we hurt them. I just don't think we did it in the first half at all. I think, you know, it doesn't happen without Kane, does it? It doesn't happen yeah, without yeah, the world correct. club. It's so funny because I was having a debate with, um, I'm in like this football chat, WhatsApp group, that's all different football fans. Yeah. And um, like some Chelsea fans were saying, oh, you know, Kane's just a target man. This was only a couple of days ago. And I was like, you have no clue. Like <laughs> if Liverpool had Kane, he would do the Firmino role better and still score goals. I'm like Firmino, do you know what I mean? He really is... If we can keep him fit this season, like he, he just looks in insane form. Look at those passes every single time, inch perfect. Like who can finish like you know, he fin has a world class finish on him and he can pass like Pogba, like or De Bruyne. It's insane. So yeah, that, for that, me, that assist for the fourth was De Bruyne esque. It really was. Yeah, that was something yeah. really special, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. So Kane for me, but Son, I'm so glad for him, man. And he's finally getting the respect he deserves in that same football chat. People are like, oh, is he better than Mane now? Like that he He's always underrated, Son, isn't he? He doesn't really get the respect he deserves. And also, he doesn't usually start the season alike. So... <laughs> So hopefully we can get some four bloody goals from Sunday. Yeah. I can't Great actually goals can't well. believe yeah, it. Man, that link up was <laughs> and four level. assists from Harry Kane. Like what the hell? And is a goal. Going on? And a goal. <laughs> and a goal. Yeah. You know what? Oh, I haven't man. I haven't looked at it myself, but someone else that I know that's quite into like tactics and statistics said in the group that Kane and Son is statistically the deadliest combo in Premier League history. Yeah, it is. And add Gareth Bell to that as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. One thing I want to get we'll get, get your opinion on is Deli Ali. We've obviously been asking quite mm. a few other, other people. It looks like he could be set to leave. Uh, with Romano tweeting out that Tottenham have put him up for sale when he's in talks with PSG. Uh, are you happy about that news? And how much do you think we could get for him? I am gutted on a personal level, just because you know you always have your favourites. Deli, 
I just always identified with him, you know, young mixed race lads. Do you know what I mean? Like, I I love Delhi. I love his personality. I love that he was, um, you know, a young star in the making. But I was having this debate actually not long ago. And um, if you want to act like a big club, you can't have passengers. And we've been waiting for him to click again for a few years now, like mm. two, two, two and a half years or something since he really was. I know he's had quick spells, like three or four or five games where he's done well, mm. but if you want to be a big club, you cannot have passengers. And he has been a passenger recently. So if there was someone to go out of those attacking options, I would probably have chosen Lamella, but Delhi, you're going to get more money for. Well, there's rumours of Jesse Lingard. I don't know what you think about oh, that. God. Oh, God. <laughs> no, that, that's got to be rubbish. Is that is that from anyone like, like uh, a high tier? Not, not really, not really. Yeah. Hopefully, but, I mean, if we, for argument's sake, let's say... We get rid of Ali and then bring in Lingard. Like, what's the point? You know what I mean? It's just no oh, point. Yeah. To Biggest downgrade I've ever seen. Yeah. So, Ali I mean... is basically Lingard with end product. Like, that's what he is. <laughs> like, they're, they're basically the same player. They run the channels and all that sort of stuff. Do you know what I mean? Game today, I thought, thought um, the first half, to be honest with you, I was fuming after it. Um, teams just seem to just seem to slice through us too easy. Um, I thought and Dembele was um, he had a very good first half to be honest. I was shocked he came off at half time, but maybe I think it could be to do with an injury. Um and the um Marino got his sub right at half time this week, um, compared to last week. So I have to praise him for that, bringing on the Celso. And um Sun was amazing today. Um four goals. And um he got three of them running off on the inside of Walker Peters, and that justifies us selling him and buying Darty. Yeah. And um, I think I think if we add Bale into that going forward, and um, uh, a top class centre back, I think we have a real shot at the league this year. What I want to know what your thoughts are on um, Deli Ali potentially leaving, which is news that broke during the game. There's gone, we now have conflicting reports. Reports: some people say uh, he could be staying, but if he does potentially leave, what do you think about that? Um, to be honest with you, I think he's just stagnated at Tottenham. Um, if we if if we can get a good price for him, I let him go. Um, but see, it's hard, it's hard to say with him. He could still turn out to be world class, but again, we haven't seen the best Ali in uh, two seasons. And I, I agree with Josh King there, but just on beforehand, um, everything he said about about Deli Ali. Um, if we if and if we could get 40, 50 million for him, I take him. I take it. And if we get that money, what are you spending it on? Uh, centre back. And who who? Um. To be honest, which I'd be looking at Brighton, maybe um, if you could get Lewis Dunk out of there. Um, um, he just signed I, a contract. He did he? just sign a long contract, yeah. Um, maybe Ruben Diaz staying out of um, Benfica. Yeah, he would be my number one, I think. Either him or uh, Milan Skriniar, someone like that. Yeah, yeah, if we could get Skriniar from Inter Milan, that'd be nice. But um, I, I think I think he'll come at a hefty fee more than what yeah. um, Diaz would. One more thing before you go, go lads. Please. Um, AFTV are giving us uh, Spurs a lot of stick recently, and um, to be honest with you, the better poor Fulham team, um, their defence is shocking. They should have lost to West Ham last night, and they seem that confident over there this year that um, I'd like to play so Adrian with them. Basically, that um, if we beat them in the North London derby after the first game, um, that they have to do a video in a Spurs shirt and at the end of it kiss our sexy little cockerel on it. <laughs> <laughs> who, who, who from Arsenal Fan TV would you like to see do that? Uh, I'd love to see Tyke. He's always in all the Arsenal games. I'd love to see him. And uh, DT as well. well what's, uh, the, what's your forfeit? If, if, if we lose, then what do you have to do? Um, well, uh, I, unfortunately, lads, I'm in Ireland, so you're in the studio, so I think you're... you're, you're <laughs> I see. You're so you're making us. a bet on our behalf. <laughs> all right, so it's our wager. I see, I see how it is. <laughs> I, I tell you what, I'll I, I fly over if you lose. I'll fly over. All right, oh, fine, I fine. <laughs> Well, then, uh, then I hope we lose. I want to see David. Exactly. We want you to come over. Come over anyway. Well, thank you for your comments, and your well views, your likes. To the competition winner as well. Yeah, uh, well Harry done Kane to George. Giveaway. The Harry Kane giveaway. We were able to give that away today as well. Hopefully Since next Since we time. started the Harry Kane giveaway, Harry Kane has scored in each of those games. So, so uh, all you say is going to start a drought, you silenced you, mate. Silence. <laughs> come on. Looks like we're going to be giving away Harry Kane every game. Exactly. What a day. What a day. What a win. What a weekend. It's great to be a Spurs fan at the moment. Yeah.